While Crohn's disease is often characterized by a discontinuous inflammation with longitudinal ulcers, ulcerative colitis represents mostly as a continuous inflammation starting in the rectum. This patient presents with severe bloody diarrhea. Endoscopy reveals continuous mucosal inflammation starting in the rectum and mucopus ulcerations and spontaneous bleeding representative of a Mayo ulcerative colitis score of 3. Histological analysis confirmed diagnosis of ulcerative colitis and the patient was put on immunomodulating therapy which resulted in a rapid improvement in symptoms. This case demonstrated a Mayo ulcerative endoscopic score of 2. In comparison to Crohn's disease, Ulcers in ulcerative colitis are more superficial and confluent. Moreover, one can visualize some frank friability, erythema, and absent vascular pattern. Surveillance in the area of acute inflammation is often unsatisfactory and should be repeated after an adequate immunosuppressive therapy. Here we perform colonoscopy in a patient suffering from ulcerative colitis with mild disease activity representing a Mayo ulcerative endoscopic score of 1. Mucosal changes include slight mucosal erythema, decreased vascular pattern and mild friability. Superficial and small erosions may also occur. Standard high-definition white light endoscopy is only insensitive in the prediction of disease activity and extent in patients with mild or even inactive IBD. Nevertheless, recent data indicate that the accuracy of endoscopy could be significantly improved by using advanced endoscopic imaging modalities like NBI, FICE or iScan. This case shows endoscopic findings in a patient with inactive ulcerative colitis representing a Mayo ulcerative colitis score of 0. By using digital chromoendoscopy, one can clearly visualize mucosal scars that appear whitish. Surveillance endoscopy is of crucial importance in ulcerative colitis as patients are at an increased risk of development of colitis-associated cancer. Chromoendoscopy, like in this case, after application of 0.1% methylene blue, may facilitate detection of flat lesions. The technique of advanced dysplasia detection in ulcerative colitis will be highlighted in another video of this work.